What is up guys, Ghost here. So yesterday, as I'm sure many of you saw over on Twitter, there was this strange cryptic message going around being sent to members of the Battlefield community, and as all of that was going on, somebody leaked what appeared to be gameplay screenshot of the new Battlefield game over on Reddit. Now, like I say with all videos that are speculation, take this with a generous pinch of salt. But according to Tom Henderson, he thinks that these things are real. And let's of course not forget what happened with the leaked trailer. First of all, we had a few grainy images leaked that Tom said were real. A lot of people doubted that. And in the end, it turned out that they were indeed real and the entire trailer was leaked. Most likely we're not going to actually see the trailer in its glorious, perfect form. But uh, nevertheless, I think this gives a little bit of validity to what Tom is saying. Now the second disclaimer I kind of want to put in this video here is that if these gameplay images are real guys, just bear in mind that these are probably very, very old, they're pre-alpha test, so they could be from early 2020, even 2019, I really wouldn't judge the game based on these images, like I know you guys are going to go and see them anyway if you're interested in them, so that's why I wanted to take a look at these, and especially on my channel, because as you guys know, I'm kind of a vehicle guy, and most of these images have vehicles in them. Okay, so this is the first image, and as you can see, we are driving around in a tank here. Now in the background, we have a map that looks very similar to Dawnbreaker, actually, and it's, it's very, very red. I don't know why it's so red, but... I wouldn't worry too much about that. I'm sure nothing in the game is going to end up being this red. Maybe it's that there's some sort of a warning siren going off, like a huge red light that's shining on the map. Who knows? But this tank we're seeing here seems to be an M1A5 Abrams tank, although it definitely has some strange modifications to it. It isn't completely one-to-one -to, -one to the real-life version of the tank. So again, could be pointing towards some near-futuristic stuff. But the real interesting thing here is the UI. Now, once again, do bear in mind, it could be completely possible that somebody has captured a screenshot from some other game and they have then made their own UI and plastered it on top of that screenshot. So just stressing again that these could be completely fake. But let's just go through this UI and assuming that it is real, take a look at what we can see. So the UI in the bottom left looks quite minimalistic, a smallish map with the flags and the ticket count there, and then we've got, of course, your squad. A lot of people have pointed out that there are only four people in this squad, and again, I would say, you know, this is very, very early stuff. It could well be that that was just a placeholder for the squads that are going to be there. We may well be getting five-person squads. Down in the bottom right, we have what looks like the loadout for the tank. So the first shell there looks like some sort of an APF SDS shell that's basically armor piercing and then some sort of a coaxial machine gun followed by smoke and then some sort of repair perk there probably similar to like the maintenance perk that we get from battlefield 3 and indeed above there you can see it says m1a5 so that is the tank that we have in question here a very small little plus 100 so if that's going to be the indicator for how much armor you have left or how much health you have as a soldier that is really really small i think that green bar is going to drain down there as you lose health as well as the number changing though now above that we see the ammo counter and what's really interesting here is the infinite sign to the right of the ammo counter so that kind of looks like we'll be going back to the sort of infinite reloads that we saw in battlefield 3 again could just be placeholder for the time being if these are real there could well be attrition coming to this game just like we have in battlefield 5. Above that, it says 120mm smoothbore, which is presumably the size of the shell and the cannon there. And then we've got the different seats in the vehicle. So this guy who's piloting here, Kiwi, is in the driver's seat. And then there's a top gunner, there's a back gunner, and there's also, what is more interesting to me, a spotter seat. So that kind of gives me a bit of an inkling that there isn't going to be general 3D spotting in this game. And they're most likely going to go the same route they did in Battlefield 5, where you have certain positions or perks or gadgets that are capable of spotting, but you won't be able to spot people in general the same way you can in BF3 and BF4. Okay, moving on, we have the Osprey screenshot. Now, starting with the map in the background, this looks like a Middle Eastern map, and a lot of people think this is Qatar. And obviously, you can see a very large stadium-like area, and that really reminds me of the stadium in Warzone. You'll also notice in the bottom left in the minimap, it says suburbs there. So it kind of 
tells you the subsection of the map that you're currently in, apparently. And of course, nobody's missed that there is this massive, actually very impressive looking dust storm rolling in over the map here. So that could definitely be something like we see in Gulf of Oman. This one looks way cooler than the one in Gulf of Oman, I have to say. So if that's something that's going to be in the game, and this is going to be the scale of the Levolution, I'm kind of excited to see what that looks like. Now, this guy is piloting what looks like an Osprey, but we see in the bottom right corner is actually an MV-3B Condor, which, as far as I know, doesn't exist. But it sort of looks like an Osprey without any propellers on it. It appears to have jet engines on the side there, and then it has this strange fin configuration on the rear that nobody really seems to be able to link to any current vehicle that actually exists, which kind of leads people to believe that maybe this game is going to be a little bit more futuristic than we first thought. Now, if you look in the piloting seat and also in the squad panel there, you'll see a familiar name, Floppy Ragdoll. He is a developer over at DICE. That's his handle in-game, and we've seen him in many screenshots before. But you'll notice the little black uh, sort of marked off areas on the screen there. That is normally where, if you're in an alpha test or a beta test, you will have your name popping up all over the screen so that if you were to take a screenshot or take some video footage of that game and share it online, people would be able to see who it was. However, if this was Floppy Ragdoll, I don't understand why he wouldn't have also blocked out his name in the pilot seat and in the squad screen there. So that doesn't really add up if these are legit. Now in the bottom right, we see what looks like rocket pods and flares. And let me be the first to say I am not really a massive fan of the way this UI looks. Hopefully this is all just placeholder stuff if it happens to be true, but I don't see why you would have that huge bar there with the flares on the rocket pods maybe it's because the health bar is on top of it um it always has to be there for that reason but it looks a bit let's say mobile phony like something that you could actually press with your finger and it would activate your rocket pods or your flares who knows guys maybe this is screenshots from battlefield mobile so over on the right side there we see a couple of his squaddies down on the ground and then we see the seats for the osprey and we've got the piloting seat obviously and then there's a top gunner, left gunner, right gunner, a passenger, and Burso, whatever that means. I've googled this, I'm not sure if this is just some strange placeholder name, or if it's actually some given role within the vehicle. But uh, if anyone knows what Burso means, let me know in the comments down below. So this is the third shot, and here we see actually a vehicle, but we're from the perspective of a soldier on the ground. And this guy seems to be mid-reload animation. Again, we appear to be on the same map. We can see that dust storm rolling in there in the background. And the vehicle here in question is the Apache attack helicopter. So if this is true, that means we're getting the Apache, which makes me very excited. So it appears that this guy is in the middle of a reload animation. Now down in the bottom right of the screen, we can see a loadout. There is a little sort of plus sign there. It looks to be some sort of a medic or possibly assault class. And what weapon this is, I honestly don't know. It could be something semi-futuristic. You can't really tell very much from the icon at all. If anyone else knows what this is, let me know down in the comments. In the second slot there, it appears that he has a revolver as his secondary. And then there's some other small looking gun there that it looks like a pistol, but it has infinite ammo. I wonder if that could be some sort of a spotting flare similar to what you get in Battlefield 5. Next to that is something else, which is just so low quality, I can barely make out the imagery here. And then the last image there looks to me to be some sort of a C4 or possibly a mine of some description that you can place on the ground. Last up here, we have just an image of the map. This looks very reminiscent of Dawnbreaker. In fact, if this was the only leaked image, I would just straight up say, Somebody's captured an image of Dawnbreaker and they've messed around with it in Photoshop and this is just Dawnbreaker. But we've also seen these skyscrapers in some of the other shots there in the background. But yeah, apart from that, not really too much to see on this one. Now, as you'll notice from the images, we've got these Ospreys with the jet engines and you know, other futuristic looking stuff. People knew that it was going to be set in the near future, but you'll also have seen on that strange encrypted message that I featured in my last video and I talked about at the start of this one, there was a date on the transmission of that video and it had the month and the day, but it had blocked out the year with four X's. Now, as you'll know, a lot of Battlefield games have the subtitle as, you know, 1942, 2142 as a year. 
which is leading a lot of people to believe that Battlefield 6 is actually going to be called Battlefield 2042 and therefore is going to be set in the near future. However, based on what most of us have heard so far, the rumour is that it's just simply going to be called Battlefield and it's going to be sort of a reboot of the series. What do you guys think? Battlefield 2042? It's definitely sounding a bit confusing. It's, it's hard to say 2042 and not 2142 <laughs> because I've been saying that for so many years now. So I don't know. I guess in a few days time on the 9th of June, we're all going to see the official trailer and we're going to find out just what is real and what isn't. So that's what I've sort of managed to ascertain from these images. Again, guys, again, these could be completely fake. And just bear in mind, you know, once again, if they are Battlefield 6 images, they could be very, very old. You know, I've seen a lot of people online, a lot of people over on Reddit and Twitter slandering the new Battlefield game already, saying that it just looks so bad. The UI is very unimpressive. Just bear in mind, guys, that all this could be placeholder, okay? If there's one thing that DICE know how to do, and there is one part of the Battlefield franchise where I am 110% sure that DICE are not going to fail us on, that is how the game looks and the graphics, because they just always have amazing looking games. The soundscape is always on point. If there's an area of the next Battlefield game that I'm worried about, it's going to be the vehicle mechanics, the skill depth, the learning curve and those sorts of things, not the way that the game looks. I'm sure they're going to come up with an amazingly looking slick UI and the graphics of the game is going to look great as well. Anyway guys, as always, let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, that helps out the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.